Okay, so what we want to do is we've got to create three different files to get this search form working. Um, the first one is the loop, and that is coming right from the documentation. So if you look at the documentation here, we get a little loop. And I'm just basically going to copy this code here and paste it into um, a file loop.php in our theme. The other page is search.php, and that's in our theme. And what's going to happen is um, when you click and say, hey, I want this in the search box, and you hit enter, it's going to pull up this page, which is going to follow our main content. It's going to go through, it's going to call the loop, and find all of the information based on your search terms and return it to the page. And if you have the style that you're using or the, the structure you're using, it will follow the structure on your site. So that's all we have to do there. And um, now that we have that, we should test it out. We got this page, and we've got search, and the search form is using the HTML. The header page is pointing to the search box here. And um, with the search box um, working, then we have the uh, search pulling out the template. So we're going to go to our page here and try to find it and here it is and here it is so now I'm going to do a search and I'm going to search for uh, about because we do have an about page and if I hit enter that our search results come up so uh, the search box is working now the one thing is that when we click in there it doesn't go away and we gotta fix that now so to do that we gotta add JavaScript Okay, there's two important things to point out here. Um, inside our header, we need this function, and I'll provide the documentation uh, after this screencast. So you need WP head right before the closing header, and you need WP footer right, beside, right, right before the closing body. And these are important functions that WordPress uses internally to attach things to. So just make sure that they're there um, and we're going to need this in our case because what we want to do is get our JavaScript working. Now in JavaScript, inside your footer, what you want to do is you want to add a script tag. And you, the common convention right now is to add your JavaScript right before the closing of the body because the entire DOM can be created and it's just a better way to use it. So command, command, B. Control command, control K, control B to close that. Um, so here's my script, and it's pointing to this file script.js. Now in script.js, I have some nice little, sorry, right here, I'm going to drop it down, some uh, jQuery. Now, if you're not aware of what jQuery is, you really should do some research on it. Um, but here's uh, the API of jQuery, and right down here is a really useful function that deals with making sure that the entire page or the DOM is loaded before you start using things. So it's the document.ready function. So I essentially wrapped everything inside script.js inside that. And so now when the full page is loaded, I go into my search input and I'm either going to, if I click on it, um, remove the search placeholder text and then if I click away or focus out, I replace it. Um, so you would think that that's all you would have to do, but with uh, the re recent uh, WordPress 3, they came up with a, a more useful way, more powerful way to add JavaScript. And so what you have to do is in your functions, uh, you have to, um, I'm going to say, if it's not the admin, which is this exclamation point, then do the following. And the reason is WordPress comes with jQuery out of the box. But what we want to do is um, use jQuery that's hosted on Google, which is a CDN library. And it's just convenient because if we go to a site, chances are somebody's doing the same thing and it can be cached and your site can load faster. So the process here is simple. We deregister the jQuery then we register the CDN jQuery hosted on Google and that's what we do um, with the rest. Now I'm running out of time here so I'm going to go into the next video so hang on.